Jeff Brown, the creator of Sophistry, the game of half-truths, and in this video I'm going to show you how to play the game on multiplayer mode. Multiplayer mode is the game mode that you use when you just want to play Sophistry against a few other people, like two or three friends, for example. So to begin with, everyone who plays the game needs to have a device. So each player has to play from their own computer or smartphone or tablet. And one person in the group has to be the game leader, the person who's going to start the game. And so in this video, as you can see, I have a web browser on the left and another one on the right because I'm going to be showing you, I'm going to be simulating two people playing against each other. So this is the first person on the left and the second person on the right. You can imagine they're maybe playing from their phone. So person on the left, that's me, Jeff Brown, is going to be the game leader and I'm going to start the game. So it's going to be multiplayer. I'm going to call it demo. You can give it a password. If that password can be whatever you want, let's say ABC. We'll make it three rounds of play, and I'll leave it on safe for work. So this game is ready to go. I click start. And now it takes me to the game waiting room. And at this point, it's possible for the other players to join in. So this is going to be the second player over here who's going to go on, for example, their phone and say join a game. Let's say this person is named Steve. And the game, as you can see, the game name is here, demo. And the password, A, B, C, D. And then this person clicks join. And you can see they join into the game, they see both the players, and I see the other player appear on my screen here. So that means that I'm ready to start, and I click Start Game. Before you actually get you start to play, you get a little intro screen which shows you the four different fallacies in the game. So there's the quantum mechanics fallacy, which is where you just make up some quantum mechanics, fake quantum mechanical explanations for things. The association fallacy, which is where you draw an unreasonable association between two different things. Single cause, that's where you assume one cause in a situation where there might actually be many causes. And the appeal to authority, that's where you say that you should believe something or do something because an authority figure tells you to. You also have the option to scroll through and you can see your cards. So these are cards that have been randomly dealt to me as a player. These are my quote cards. The other player has their own quote cards, which are always different, as you can see. And then I've also been dealt some fallacy cards. So I have three association fallacies, one quantum and one single, car, uh, single cause. I'm missing the appeal to authority. That's because these cards are dealt randomly. Let's see what player two has. Player two has a lot of association fallacies also and two authorities. So he's, he's actually missing two in his cards here. So uh, that's not lucky for him. Once you've looked through all your cards and familiarized yourself, you click Ready to Play. And then you can see the player icons light up here telling you who's ready. And once all of the players are ready, the game can actually begin. And oops, I don't like this. This is in a small screen display. I'm going to put it in large screen. There we go. That's nicer. So player one over here is the speaker so I have to choose a quote card that I'm gonna read and then player two over here is going to respond by trying to identify the fallacy so let's just say I choose this one I click on it it shows me a larger more readable version and I can cancel if I change my mind or I can click play and you see it appear on the other one's screen and they can figure out what it is that's definitely a quantum fallacy this player doesn't have it in their cards, so they can either guess, try to guess and hope it's another one, or they can pass. So let's say we'll pass this time, and this shows us the results for that first turn. Let's say ready to play. <clears throat> now it's player two's turn to speak a quote. So let's say he chooses this one, David Icke. I'm a channel for the Christ spirit. The title was given to me recently by the Godhead. That sounds like an appeal to authority fallacy, which, again, I don't have in my cards. But let's just say I throw it a guess, and I'm going to get it wrong. I'm going to say this is single cause. <clears throat> so player 2, 1. And it keeps going back and forth like that. Let's see if we can 
show you a correct answer. People are going to realize why. To, okay, so this is an association fallacy. So player two is going to answer association fallacy, gets it right, gets one point. These uh, buttons here, by the way, new quote, new fallacy card. This is just telling you that you've been dealt a new card, and you can click on that if you want to find out what the card is before the next round. But it's not necessary. It doesn't change anything. You still get the card. It's just if you click on that button, you can take a minute to look at it. Let's say ready to play. Right, this one is speaking. The U.S. will invite El Chapo. Our leaders can't say no. What is that? Just an association fallacy? It is. Right, okay, he's associating law by, yeah, he can't. And then I think we're in the final round now. Let's try this one, play it over here, association fallacy, ready to play. And the final turn, let's go with this one. Good without God becomes zero. It sounds like an appeal to authority fallacy, appealing to the authority of God. Yep. So we've just played our three rounds. It tells you at the end, sorry, these are the results for this turn. Once the game is over, you can look at the scoreboard and you can see, oh, it's a tie. So we both won. And you can also look at a game recap if you want. You can actually see the whole game play by play, what happened and who won. And then when you're finished, you click done. So that's how you play Sophistry on multiplayer. It's a really fun way to play against your friends or your family. And uh, once again, each person who plays needs to play from their own phone or computer or other internet enabled device. There's just one thing that I forgot to explain earlier, which is how the points are scored in multiplayer mode. The way it works is it's the first player to correctly identify the fallacy who receives the point. So the first player re who correctly identifies the fallacy gets one point. The Anyone who answers after that, even if they answer correctly, they still don't get any points. And if there's a situation where none of the players get the correct answer, then that's what we call a sophistry, and that means that it's actually the speaker, the person who read the quote, who gets three points. So the first player to correctly identify the fallacy gets one point. If none of the players answer correctly, then it's the speaker who achieves a sophistry, and they get three points for that.